Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing FIFA 18 demo on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for FPS monitoring, I'll be using Cam. If you want to download this software, there's a link down in the description and if you enjoy the content and want to support the channel directly, there's a link to the Patreon page down in the description as well. So, FIFA 18 demo, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip down at those sections of the video, check the description below. So first I'll show you 1080p using ultra settings with 4x MSAA. And this game is pretty much over 60 frames per second all the time, so it runs just fine. Then at 1440p I did the same thing, but this time I used 2 times MSIA instead, but it was still enough to be over 60 frames per second without a problem. But if you turn off MSIA, you'll be getting some extra FPS. And finally at 4K, in order to get 60 frames per second the majority of the time, I needed to drop the graphics options to high instead of ultra, and I switched to DartX 11 for some extra FPS. So far it drops sometimes below 60 frames per second, but it's hard to notice without an FPS counter running. But if you want a more stable frame rate, simply drop the settings from high to medium and you'll be fine. We now have a choice on which API to use. Between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 so far, DirectX 11 runs a little better on the cards I tested so far. And DirectX 12 seems to use more VRAM and a little less CPU. For example, when I tested the 1050 Ti at 4K, in DirtX 11 I got around 70 frames per second, and DirtX 12 I was around 60-65 frames per second, so it's a small performance difference there, so if you have 2GB of VRAM on your graphics card you might want to stick to DirtX 11 for lower VRAM usage. We still can't disable individual graphics settings, we only have presets from low to ultra, it would be nice to be able to at least lower texture quality in a separate option for people that want higher settings but are limited by the VRAM usage, for example. This game is also capped at 30 frames per second on cinematics, free kicks and replays. And this time it was impossible for me to disable the cap using the Nvidia control panel like the previous FIFA entries. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Straight past the outside. Yeah, I think he'd beaten the keeper, you know, but just not got it within the framework of the goals, and he's a bit unlucky. Well, when you're winning by a goal, the manager wants to see his team put the game to bed, but they couldn't do it there with that miss. Now, Tweedy. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Good play from the Paris players to threaten the opposition now. Hit in hard and low. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Verratti. On to Dani Alves. Thiago Motta. Verratti with a well-timed run. And it's in. The equalising goal. Great scenes of jubilation here, having got that equaliser, had to work so hard to achieve it. So, away we go at one all. Thiago. Arturo Vida. Rodriguez. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Baratti. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Here's Danny Alves. Should really deliver from this position with the defender in the way. Now Danny Alves. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Three minutes. Three minutes to be added on. It's Kimmich. Thiago. Well, the referee has blown for half time at 1 1. I think that's a good.
short corner. Thiago Mott got to be. Well, it looked a bad miss, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. David Lewis. Nice return pass. Pedro. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. And he's shot off now. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Here's Marquinhos. Ferrati. Matuidi. Thiago Mota. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. He's got support here. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Under some pressure, he shielded it well. Marcos Alonso. A return ball. Pedro. There's some potential in this move. It's great resilience to ride that tackle and stay on his feet. He's got some strength, hasn't it, to shield the ball like that. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Here's Danny Alves. Edinson Cavani. Turnover there that we didn't expect. Here's a chance to attack. Here's Conte. Shot off! Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Baratti. Matuidi. Thiago Mota. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Here's Conte. Attacking now. Conte. Hazard! And we've got a goal. That's the first one, and I think there'll be a few more to come. He took a chance to get in there, and the ball just fell perfectly for him. Couldn't miss from there. No, he couldn't. Point blank effort. But uh, you have got to be in the position, don't you, to miss them. The old saying goes true. So it's Chelsea in the lead. Thiago Mota. Now Tweedy. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Two more minutes to play of added time. Angel Di Maria. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Played well in the first half, Chelsea. They've got this half-time lead. Pedro. And it's going to be an attacking move, this, from Chelsea. The target, Hazard. Played away, well away from goal. A chance to break away now on the counter. Throw in for Paris Saint-Germain. Angola Conte into the attacking third. Conte. That's great defending there, stopping that attack.
cut out by Danny Alves. Edinson Cavani. Baratti. And Tweedy. Got the tackle in. Victor Moses. It goes out wide again. Matuidi. Thiago Mota. Thiago Silva. The return ball. Matuidi. Baratti. Morata. Here's Conte. Pedro. And here come Chelsea with some bright attacking play. Marcos Alonso. A low ball into the box. The opponents around him, that's good screening of the football. Pedro. And they've cut it out. Able to cut out the pass. Here's Danny Alves. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Thiago Mata. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Baratti. On to Danny Alves. Pass. Thiago Silva. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Matuidi. Cavani. Cavani. How did he save that? Yeah, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Matuidi. Little headed pass then, and a shrewd one. Never quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. It's Paris Saint Germain who start this second period. Thiago Silva. Thiago Mota. Baratti. Matuidi. Now Danny Alves. Good play from the Paris players to threaten the opposition now. Baratti. I love that. The skill. Cavani. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Morata. Pedro. Was well, good progress with this attack. Conte. He screened the ball well there. Azar. Going to try one now. Great work by the goalkeeper. And the ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Pedro. Well, they're in a good position here. Morata. And in he goes with the tackle. Thiago Mota. Angel Di Maria. Morati. Matuidi. That's the score. Change for Paris Saint Germain. Not short with the corner. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Chelsea given the advantage here. 